Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I'm back with another Build With Me series. Uh, the first Build With Me series that I ever did, it was kind of all over the place, and I didn't do very good at explaining myself, and so I thought I'd try again. And so I'm going to take, take this step by step, just like the first one. And the first thing you need to do is pick the world that you're going to be building in. Now, I think this house that I'm building um, now would look good in Appaloosa Plains. It's the world that came with pets, the expansion pack pets. And I'm going to have a picture of the house in the corner somewhere. But it's a really pretty house, and it's a little bit more um, advanced. The very first one was a very simple house. This is a little bit more complicated. And you'll see what I'm talking about if, you know, the pictures on the screen right there you can see what I'm talking about um the very first thing that you need to do is pick a lot now if you're in if you if you just launch the game you're gonna see well I can't pick a lot nothing's highlighted I can't pick anything to um to be able to pick a lot you click over here these three little dots right here the options menu and you're gonna go to edit town now that's gonna allow you to pick any lot that you want and you're going to be able to build without any without having to use any money. Like you don't like you won't need to um you know like um you won't have to like create a family and do the mother, the, the mother load cheat. No, you won't be able to you won't you won't need to do all that. <laughs> um so I think that this house would look really good over here. I kind of wanted it to be out in the country somewhat, but um, kind of feeling in town. And another thing that you should probably like note is that we won't need a big lot like 50 by 50. That's way too big. Like, of course, you're going to want a somewhat like a decent sized lot so we can have like a backyard and stuff. Like this lot, I think, is 30 by 30. Yeah, a 30 by 30 lot is perfect for like any kind of medium sized home. So I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go with this one. Just click on it and click on build slash buy. And then once we're in, now this house does have a garage, um, like all the other houses that I build. And so there's gonna be a few cheats that we're gonna need to put in. And I'm gonna have all of the cheats are gonna come up on the screen in big white letters. <laughs> that way you can read them. Um, but to get the cheats bar to come up, you're going to uh, type in Control shift c and that's going to bring up the cheats bar. Now, the very first cheat you need to put in is going to be testing, cheats, enabled, space, and then true. And all that does is it allows you to, well, it allows the cheats to actually work. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> And then there's another cheat that we're going to need to do, so bring up Control shift c again. And in order to attach a garage to a foundation, you're going to need to put in constrain, whoop, <laughs> I can't type, floor, elevation, space, false. <clears throat> and I like building at night because I can see the grid better. Everybody does it, I'm pretty sure. And to toggle night and day off without having to come over here and, um, you know, clicking the buttons and stuff, you can use your keyboard for pretty much anything. So the letter L turns it light and day. Um, the next thing that we need to do is level the terrain. That way no glitches happen. It happens more often than you would think. So just do this a couple of times. I, I, I'd probably do it more than I need to, but I'd rather do it more than I need to than not at all. Okay, so and this is a really pretty L-shaped, so it's sort of like an L-shaped home. Um, I think we're going to do the garage first. Uh, yeah, we're going to do the garage first. And you want to start like further like further like for like you know for like far enough back to where you can have like a garden and stuff but not too far back to where it looks weird 
And the L-shaped homes are always harder to pinpoint because unlike The Sims 4, we can't pick up our lot or we can't pick up our houses and like move them around. I wish that were the case, but it's not. And so I think we're going to go over one, two, three, four, five. I always go over like five or six and then go back like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it seems like a good number. Over five, back eight. And there's a little pop out. So we're going to go over one, two, three, four. And it looks like it goes back by one. And then one, two, three, because there's a little like one square window. And then I have some really pretty um, three, three tile long. Uh, I have some really pretty uh, small garage doors that I'm going to use. And I'll link, I'll link a sec of the full set in the description below. Um, I am going to be using custom content in this house just because I like making my houses look really pretty. That's just, this is what I prefer. Um, so to fit a garage door, a normal garage door is four sim tiles wide, but since I'm going to be using a smaller one, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll show you which door I'm talking about that I'm going to use. It's a smaller one with windows. There we go. See, that's pretty, ain't it? I think it's really pretty. And this is the MZ 3x1 garage door. And it's by Miss Missy Sim on the Sims resource. Um, and I'll be sure to, after, after all these, after this part's done um, being recorded, I will find it and link it in the description. And then, then we're going to just go over here and we're going to close off the garage. I'm really excited for this house. It's really pretty. <laughs> okay. Now there's the garage. It's done. Look at that. Pretty. Okay. Now. Ooh, that's scary. All right, mm, move all roofs. You know, if you want to turn auto roof off, it's really because if you don't turn auto roof off, it's going to automatically put roofs on. Just click on disable all roofs, and that'll keep it from. Okay, so what I'm what I'm worried about is. If we do that, I'll turn the light on so you can see. Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to delete that door for now. Okay. Hmm. So maybe, hmm, huh. maybe we don't need a foundation because it's going to look really weird. It's going to like cut off these, this part right here and it's going to look really weird. It's going to be all slanted if we do it any other way. There isn't a porch on this house, so we could probably just not use a foundation. So keep on using the wall tool. Um, but it'll be it'll be fine. So let's turn our light back off. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's just I'm picky when it comes to stuff like that. So that makes it a lot easier. We won't have to do any other cheats or anything for the garage. Um, okay, so it comes out by... Two, one, two, three, four. And then goes back by one. And then this is kind of the 
two, three, four. That's that. Unless we want it to be... Because cause, um, the way... I have a window that fits that really pretty. It's this one. So... Hmm. Maybe just have... Maybe just make it two. And then over like that. And then... Like it goes... And over by two. And we'll put like a little window right there, maybe. Okay, now I need to look at the floor plan. See what it looks like. Okay, so let's. There we go. All right, let's see here. We'll have to like cut this part off right there once we get inside, but I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Um, okay, so it looks like um, the floor plan, it goes back to three, four. It really starts from here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. We'll go back to seven. It's not going to be much of a backyard if we do that. So maybe just go back by six. So yeah, go over. If you start from all the way back here, go back by seven. And if you're wondering how I make the walls go up and down like that, the whole, the end key on your keyboard puts all the walls down, and then the home key puts all the walls up. I prefer building with them down when I first start building. That's just me. Okay, now goes over. No, because there's a family room too. Because it's going to be, okay, so seven, eight, nine. Over by nine. We can put like a, like a side yard right there. It'll be fine. Okay. Now I'll go over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Over by seven. And then pop it up. By one, one, two, three, and then the pop it up, up up again by one, two, three, four, and then just go all the way down, and that's the. That's it. And actually, because the stairs are going to be right here, I think. I think I'm going to do my own thing for the, for the floor plan. We can turn the light back on. And if we go up, we can start doing that. We can start doing the upstairs. Now, I think it just, because if you look at the house, if I go back to the picture, sorry, I'm tabbing out of the game so I can see. Okay, if you look at the picture on the garage, it has 
like a little room right here. So we're not going to start right here. We're going to start one, two, and this isn't going to be a real room. It's just going to be like, it's a fake room in other words. And actually, we'll do that after. <laughs> I really don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, so, yeah. We're going to start right here. So I go back, one, two, up. Pretty much just outlining the house at this point. Um, I don't know if we should outline the garage too. Hmm. Hmm. Should we? No, because the garage will come together year after bit. So we're just going to outline the... See, now I'm second guessing myself. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay, so let's just let's back, let's backtrack here for a minute. Outline the downstairs, but not right there. Let's keep going over. This is a really awkward, awkward looking house. How's that look? Does that look weird? Hmm. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's see here. If we just go over like that, maybe. Go over to three. There we go. Let's just pop it out like that. The way it doesn't look so weird, and we can get rid of these walls. Okay, this was, this part's going to be kind of long because I kind of want to get the shell of the house done and all that good stuff. And now I want to put some flooring on this part right here. Whoops, not that part. <laughs> Let's go up. There we go. And then back here. There we go. That way we, kinda, that way we can kind of like tell where everything is. Look at that, ain't that pretty? Alright, and I'm gonna put my garage door back on there. I gotta remember to to link that. <laughs> and I think we can do our roof now. Let's get our roof then, and then we'll maybe we'll put the windows and doors on and then we'll put the siding on and then this part will be finished. Um I think I'm gonna pre pre record this part and the second part. And all that good stuff. Okay, so the garage, or the, the, the garage. <laughs> yeah, the garage, guys. This is the garage we're working on right now. <laughs> okay, so the roof looks like there's a hipped roof. So start right here. Go over right there. Yeah. And then I'm going to show you something really, really nice. Something really pretty. If it'll, let's see if it'll work first. I think I could find one. Let's put move objects on. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Let's keep working on our roof. Actually, let's start over. I think we need to go over all the way. Yeah, go over all the way. That way this part is covered. Maybe. No. Oh boy, this is going to be hard. This is going to be really tough. So maybe... Because I don't know what I'm going to do with this little... Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Hmm. No. Okay. We can put a column here, can't we? Yeah. Just put a column right there. Or not a column, this is an archway. Um, and I'll show you what to do with all that next. Um, so let's just focus on our roof right now. And so we're going to do what we did before. And just do that. And then follow along that. It looks weird right now, I know. But I swear it'll look nice eventually. <laughs> um, okay, and so there's peaks so maybe like that and then like that you know what I mean but the problem here is Okay, so maybe we can do the peaks first, and then the hipped roof. Yeah, so do that first. There's going to be a problem, like, with this thing, isn't there? Okay. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not good at this, guys. Okay. Maybe, hold on a minute, I got an idea. Maybe we can do that. There we go. <laughs> that looks weird right now. But if we put a hip roof right there. So you can still see the oval shaped, but it looks, yeah, that's going to have to work for now. <laughs> okay, and then... Sorry for confusing everybody. Um, okay, so no, that's the wrong one. Get a uh, tall gable roof. Okay. Okay, so get a tall gable roof.
Hmm. That's gonna look really weird. I don't like it. Oh well. Hmm. Maybe. Wait, that. It doesn't look dumb, does it? I don't think it does. I it guess it's just gonna pop out like that. And then maybe to get that little. go back to the rooms. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I just really want this to look. There we go. Then press the letter E and copy right there. Now we can go back to the tall gable roof and make it look <laughs> like it's supposed to. There we go. <laughs> so it's going to be like hanging off like that, but it's going to look really pretty in the end, I swear. It's going to look nice eventually, I promise. Okay, and now go to the hip roof and start right here and work your way over right there. And now that we kind of have the that figured out, we can replace we can uh, replace that um, that tall gable roof. Oops. Whoops. This will go like that. There we go. <laughs> Took a minute, didn't it? Okay, and now, keeping on the tall gable roof, I think. Uh, no, that doesn't look right. So let's go to the gable roof. <laughs> and then, it's going to be a lot of peaks in this house, if you can't tell. <laughs> And then, then maybe do the tall gable roof. Maybe. How does that look? Maybe bring it down a smidge. And bring that down a hair. How does that look? Is that too many peaks? I don't think it's too many peaks. I think it's just enough, actually. Okay, then we need to figure out... Oh, I didn't go back far enough. <laughs> okay. With either of them. Wow. <laughs> I can play The Sims, I swear I can. Alright, so let's go all the way back this time. There we go. And if you're wondering how to make the roof go up, like, go, like, you know, up and down, it's this button right here, the roof selection pick control. I'm going to take it all the way down. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this roof. There we go. There's that. Now for this back here. Come on. I think. I know I've kind of overdid it with the peaks and stuff, but that looks not mad. <laughs> and then for this down here, if I can, why can't I move? Come on now. There we go. And for this down here, let's do the half gable roof and go over by three and back by one. And then we'll just bring it down like that. Pretty. Okay, so the roof took us a minute to figure out, but we figured we we eventually got there. And it doesn't look exactly like the picture. I'm actually second guessing this roof right here. I want to see what the half 
gavel roof would look like right there. If that would look better. Of course, you would need to go back by four instead of three. Four. And then bring it down. Does that look better? We even just do this what we did earlier and just go back by three. That will look better. So it doesn't like connect there. But that looks a lot better than a bunch of peaks, don't you think? I think so. So there's the roof. Really pretty, I know. Now we can do the doors and the windows and whatnot. Now for the door, I have this door in mind. It's the door that came with university, the pristine pastures door. So I'm just going to put that right there. And then if you look at the picture, there's a window, like this one, above it. See? And so to make it match, press the letter R on your keyboard. That brings up the color wheel. We're going to collapse all identical patterns. This little That's what that little minus button does. And we're going to go to miscellaneous and make it all white to match the door. Pretty. Okay, now you can probably change this column to white too, just to make it match. There we go. Pretty. And then I have some windows right here in mine too. The ambitions window. Hate that sound you know the window sound <laughs> of like windows snapping everywhere and then we're gonna press letter R collapse all the identical patterns and then go to miscellaneous make it white again and I have shutters that specifically fit this window because there, there are shutters on this house so press letter E to copy it we're going to put that down there. And then I think, does that Ambitions window fit up here? <gasps> it does. That one doesn't, but I wonder if this one does. It does! Yay! I love that. I love it. Okay, so there, there's this little window right here. The window palooza. Okay, and now for the windows over here. Hmm. So, windows over here, I think I'm going to use. No. Hmm. Maybe I'll use this window for... This window came with Island Paradise. It has like shutters already on it. It looks really pretty. I'm going to use that one for that window. I'm going to use that window for that. And then over here... Oh, that looks tacky. <laughs> hmm. Not this one. Hmm. Maybe? Okay, so this is the matching door, or the matching window that came with the other Ambitions window. It's the tall skinny one. 
I'm gonna press the letter R. We're gonna make it white. Miscellaneous white on both. And I'm thinking about putting two. There we go. I'm gonna press the letter R. And the shutters are black, so I'm gonna collapse all identical patterns. Make that part white. And then make that part. I have I have a black saved, but I think I'm gonna okay, so make that one white and then bring it let's bring it down to about there. That way you can still see the and then um since we're gonna be using this color for the other shutters. I'm gonna click right here and push save and it'll save it right there. Okay, and now there needs to be a window up here. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this a little bit taller. There we go. Okay, so windows right there. Thinking about a pet's window, this window. I use it a lot. Maybe one on each side. So press the letter R and make it all white like all the other windows. And then press letter E and copy it. And put it right there. Wow. Look at that. And you could even, if it looks, if that right there looks weird to you, you know the little, the little, pe the little peak right over there where there's nothing there. If you click on hipped roof and push that in and do the same thing or you could either, you could either do that or you can do that. I think that looks better. But we will yeah, that's how it is in the picture too. So, does that look okay to you guys? That looks okay to me. Um and I think I'm going to make the roof to go to roof patterns to change the roof color because that's a really ugly color. <laughs> um, I do have a custom content roof that I'm going to use, of course. Although the the picture, the roof is like a lighter, a lighter color. I really need to download more like roof patterns. Uh, yeah, none of the base game ones look good to me, so I'm going to use this roof. I'll discard, um, it's called the PS Modern Roof 2. It's by P uh, Praline Sims. Oh, I do have, that's a brown one. Okay, there's a brown one. Then I think I'm going to use this one. So that's the outside of the house so far. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's really starting to come along. Um, and so I don't know what I'm going to name this part. Oh, but actually, before I go, before I forget, I'm going to put the shutters on. And so for some reason, the shutters are in buy mode and the curtains and blinds. <laughs> And the shutters that I have, they're called the exterior shutters for the Sir Cunningham window. And is there a black one? There is a black one. Okay. So it fits my, it fits these windows perfectly. I love them so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if you can hear that. People are talking outside. Okay, let's see if I can get this to come on. Maybe if I <laughs> come on. Maybe there is just too much going on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wait, maybe if I delete those walls, it'll be easier. <sighs> I 
Okay, <laughs> this is... I had it, come on. <sighs> this is painful. I'm sorry if you guys are still watching and watching me, like, struggle. Why is it... I don't know why it's being so difficult. It's like not snapping into place. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. So, let me see if this will work. Let's make like a random wall. Will that work? It will. <laughs> I'm just dumb, I guess. Okay, so if that ever happens to you, it just means that the grid, that like there's not a grid right there, and so it can't snap into place. I just figured that out. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, so now you can... So yeah, just make a wall like right in front of where you're having the problem, and it'll work. <laughs> oh, I just wasted like three minutes of my life. <laughs> okay, so... And then, of course, once we get, like, the siding and stuff on it, it's going to look really nice. It's going to look so much better. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that part here after you guys done watched me struggle <laughs> like there's no tomorrow. Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe if you like what you see. And I will see you guys in the next part. Bye, guys.